Hello again everyone, Edwin Lundberg back once again. In this YouTube NFL prediction segment, I'm going to be giving you my Week 10 2014-15 NFL predictions and analysis. Now, the first game, I'm going to take Cincinnati at home over the Cleveland Browns. Uh, in Cincinnati, uh, has won 8 of 11 overall uh, against the Browns. They've pretty much dominated this series in recent years. Uh, won five consecutive home games against them. Yes, Cleveland has vastly improved. Uh, they're actually their number two in red zone uh, touchdown uh, defense at about 46% right now. This team, Cleveland, uh, is capable of really uh, playing well. Uh, they are on the road, though. Uh, Cincinnati is one of those uh, teams that can look, be invincible or seem invincible at home, but they're not, not always as good as on the road as most of us know. And Cincinnati, I am going to pick them to win this game uh, because then they've also won like like around 12 or 13 consecutive at home, I believe now. So for those reasons, I like the Bengals. Now next game. I'm going to take the Kansas City Chiefs on the road over the Buffalo Bills. Now, uh, Kansas City, um, their uh, pass um, defense has been phenomenal at number one in the league. They're 3-0 and against the AFC East uh, this season. I like their prospects in this one. Buffalo, um, they're playing well. Uh, they are obviously um, have improved immensely. They've uh, surpassed expectations by many. They're mediocre 2-2 two two at home this season. This is a team that kind of fluctuates at home. They look good one game, not so good the next, and uh, they're a little bit unpredictable at home. I think Kansas City, based on how they've played in recent weeks, they've won 5 of 6. I'm going to take the Chiefs on the road to go into Buffalo and beat them. Now the next game, I'm going to take the Detroit Lions at home over the Miami Dolphins. Both these teams have been playing well lately. Miami's been on a rampage. They've won four of five games uh, right now. They only had that one loss due to some trickeration by a quarterback by the name of Aaron Rodgers. Now Detroit is a three and one at home uh, this season. They've um, they're very good at coming uh, from behind. They don't really. Uh, it's almost like they're oblivious to the word uh, fourth or expression fourth quarter deficit. Uh, Matthew Stafford has shown to be unflappable in the clutch. He's really uh, the quarterback for the, uh, the Lions has played really well this season. Uh, they're also second in opposition rushing yards uh, allowed. So Ryan Tannehill, Miami is going to have to probably put up some big numbers. They got to go into a tough environment. I like Detroit in the close game. Now the next game. I'm going to take the Dallas Cowboys on the road over the Jacksonville Jaguars, and I don't be flabbergasted, people. Uh, Jacksonville has their one robust win this season. Uh, Dallas, um, despite um, some dissension and maybe some, you know, maybe a little turmoil possibly on the team, uh, I think uh, Dallas will get this done. They are playing the, the Jaguars. Uh, they are. Um, they still they got the number one running back in the league uh, with DeMarco Murray. Um, he's rushed for 1,133 yards, leading the NFL in rushing. Tony Romo may very well play. If he plays, I think that's even more definitive for uh, Dallas uh, merging victorious. Now, Jacksonville, um, they're last in scoring offense right now, 15.7 points per game. They got one thing going for them. They're second in the NFL in tackles. Uh, I think with, with over, um, I think like 634, somewhere around there, but they're second in tackles, and uh, they'll probably be doing that a lot this game against the Dallas Cowboys, and I like the Dallas Cowboys on the road. Uh, Dallas Cowboys to win this one, I should say. Now, the New Orleans Saints are at home, and I'm going to pick them. They are 19-0 and at home in the last 19 games that... Uh, Breeze and Payton uh, have both um, suited up and been at the game. So uh, the um, the Saints are in a little bit of a roll right now. They've won four or five. Uh, they had that one game where Bru uh, Drew Brees threw an ill-advised Ill pass at the end of the game, which enabled the Detroit Lions to win. Uh, other than that, uh, the Saints have uh, looked everything but flawless in recent weeks. Uh, they're at home. They're going to I mean, 
San Francisco now, on the other hand, has plummeted uh, recently. They obviously, they don't seem to be that upper echelon team that we saw in the previous like three years to this one. They obviously have some issues they have to work out. And if you can't beat St. Louis on your home field, I think you're going to have a hard time going into New Orleans into a, a tough place to win and, and emerge victorious. So I like the Saints in this one. Now the next game, I'm going to take the Baltimore Ravens at home over the Tennessee Titans. Yeah, I know so much for the Ravens' ravenous defense. I don't know, that's kind of dissipated into thin air. However, they are averaging uh, 26.7 points per game this season. They're 3-0 and um, in the last three at home. They've um, basically um, have been dismantling opponents on their home field, 93-23 to um, advantage in the three home games uh, well, or, you know, this season. So we look at um, Tennessee, or I should say the last three home games anyway. Now, Tennessee... Uh, you know, they're another story. This is one of those ignominious teams. They're 28th in opposition rushing yards allowed. Uh, they've scored over 17 only one time in like the last seven games. Uh, they're obviously their offense is anemic. And it's having some problems, and and they're just trying to put another you know their new quarterback in, and he's going to uh, learn kind of the system and play cohesively with the players and the team. It's it's just a mess right now. So I like the Ravens. Uh, to win at home. Now the next game, I'm going to take uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers on the road to beat the New York Jets. Now the Jets, um, they're obviously, they're pretty much done for the season. They're 30th in scoring offense. They just average a little over 17 points per game. Pittsburgh Steelers, on the other hand, are on like full throttle right now. Uh, they're playing like one of the best teams in the league at this point, and uh, they've won four or five uh, They've averaged uh, 448 yards of offense in the last three games. Uh, they annihilated pretty much Baltimore last uh, week, and they just, to me, this is a team that's really, they're, they're starting to kind of look like the Steelers uh, of old. I'm not saying they can necessarily challenge New England or Denver, but they are playing at a level right now where they can they can be one of these competitive teams. and. And, uh, and certainly they look like they can. it's conceivable for them to make the postseason the way they're playing right now. So I like the Steelers on the road. Now, the next game, I'm going to take the Atlanta Falcons on the road against Tampa Bay. I guess this is kind of like uh, that toilet bowl game uh, for this week. Uh, Atlanta's 2-1-6 on the year. Tampa Bay is obviously, they've only won one game this season. Uh, Atlanta's been reeling. They, they're floundering. They've lost five in a row. Uh, they were uh, throttle. Uh, they throttled Tampa Bay in week three, 56 uh, to 14. And uh, Tampa Bay, they just keep keep finding different ways to lose. The only thing that's advantageous for them is they are at home. Uh, they may make this competitive. It's probably a close game, but I like Atlanta prevailing uh, on the road. Now the next game. Now. Denver, despite looking deplorable in the last game, they're still one of the better teams in the league. Uh, number three in scoring offense, and uh, they have, uh, despite the domination the Pats had subjugated on them uh, the last week, they obviously are still one of the, the better teams. And I don't, I don't see this as a game where they're going to overlook Oakland. I think they might take their frustrations out on them. Oakland is. Uh, Last in total offense, number 32. Uh, the um, thing about them is just they are, um, what I thought was in, in interesting, intriguing about them, I was looking up some stats on them uh, yesterday, and they're number two in, in red zone TD uh, offense at, I think, over 70%. And or at least close to it, if not over 70%. But that maybe could be a little misleading because maybe they just haven't had the um, opportunities in that um, as far as their as far as being in the red zone. So really, um, all I really know is that the team obviously has no wins and they find ways to lose. It's a versatile team as far as that goes. And I'm going to take uh, Denver. Um, on the um, on the road to do this now Arizona I'm going to take them at home to beat St. Louis uh, St. Louis um, Arizona is seven and one this season 
They're tied for the league lead in interceptions at 12. Some of their stats as a team collectively don't exactly look prodigious or gaudy, but they find a way. They have the uncanny ability to get things done. Now, St. Louis um, hasn't won consecutive games since week 15 and 16 of the 2013 season. I've yet to see St. Louis really put quality, uh, consecutive quality games back to back in some time. And I know they look they look very impressive the last week. They also looked good against Seattle uh, recently, and by defeating them. But I think going to look at this uh, game. Arizona's on a mission right now. They're not going to get complacent or relaxed or lackadaisical against St. Louis, and they will win this game, I believe. Now the next game, I'm going to take the Seattle Seahawks at home over the New York Giants. Now Seattle. Um, despite losing maybe a little bit of that invincibility that they had at home uh, or, or seemingly looking invincible at home, they are 3-1 and, and one at home this season. They're still a solid home team. They have the fourth-ranked defense. The defense has not been quite as good or superlative as it was last season where the defense looked like world beaters, but they are playing the Giants. The Giants have lost the last two to Seattle. Uh, the G-Men really, they're not the team they once were. They, obviously, they're struggling. Uh, they have to go on the road and play still in a very difficult environment, and I like Seattle to win this one. Next game, I'm going to take the Green Bay Packers at home over the Chicago Bears. Now, Green Bay is uh, pretty much dominated this series. That would be an understatement. They're 8-1 and one in the last nine uh, versus the Chicago Bears. Uh, Green Bay is 3-0 and at home this season. They've, um, their last two home games, they've outscored the opposition like 86-27. to So, in Chicago, it was trounced 38-17 to in the last game, as most of you know, that when they played Green Bay. And they dropped four of their last five. They looked at early in the season, they looked like a team that might be on the rise and challenge Green Bay uh, or, who, or whoever for the division title, but it doesn't look... Uh, like they're going to do it right now, and they're, they're, even though Green Bay had a devastating loss in their last game against the Saints, uh, that tends to happen to teams um, at New Orleans. So I'm going to take the Packers at home. Now, last but not least, I'm going to take the Philadelphia Eagles at home over the Carolina Panthers. Now, yes, Philadelphia is somewhat depleted. They have to go with quarterback Mark Sanchez, who did look impressive uh, the last week. And um, the Eagles are, are a very good home team. They've won seven in a row at home. Carolina is the reeling right now. They're one five and one in their last seven. Cam Newton will have to do something to get this uh, team going and try to make this at least competitive. But I just think the Eagles, even without Nick Foles, this is a team uh, that's still very dangerous. They are at home, and Carolina has just not played well in recent weeks. And I, I believe Philadelphia has enough in them. If, they, if you can go on the road with Mark Sanchez and you could conquer the Houston Texans, which Houston's like, I, I seem kind of like a mediocre middle of the run team, you can win at home over the Carolina Panthers. So, anyway, people, let me um, just show you my, uh, give you a rundown of my picks on the computer screen if you could just hold on momentarily. Okay, here we go, people. NFL predictions week 10, Cincinnati over Cleveland, Kansas City over Buffalo, Detroit over Miami, Dallas over Jacksonville, New Orleans over San Francisco, Ravens over Titans, Steelers over Jets, Atlanta over Tampa Bay, Denver over Oakland, Arizona over St. Louis, Seattle over the G-Men, Green Bay over Chicago, and Philadelphia over Carolina. Well, people, that will conclude this YouTube NFL uh, prediction segment for Week 10 of the 2014-15 NFL season. And stay tuned next time where I'll be giving you my predictions and analysis for Week 11 of the 2014-15 NFL season. Until next time, people, stay well.